Hey guys, what's going on? Today is a pretty great scripting tutorial. We're going to be talking about the fundamentals of Lua scripting. So, we're actually going to be looking at the Wikipedia, as you can see. We've got flowcharts and all this stuff. Flowcharts, really nothing. It's uh, just explaining how flowcharts work. If you want to look at that, you can. I really uh, don't need to, though. Uh, I don't think you do need to either. But, uh, I'll send a link to this page right here just to get here and look at the fundamentals if you really want to take a closer look at it. But today we're going to be looking at the basics. So we're going to look at your first script. So the setup, and I'm just going to read off the wiki. It is important to get to know the environment you will be working in. If you haven't already, read through the Roblox Studio article and become familiar with Roblox Studio. That's a good idea. Open up Roblox Studio. Make sure you have the standard studio view set up. Uh, inserting a new script. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert object and insert a script. There's one, but we want this one. Okay. So we're going to, uh, you know, find the script, insert it, and we're going to edit the script. And if we click play, we'll see hello world. And press that to redo everything. Double click it and you can see the script editor. And this is a function. So that's your basic script. Really that's a fundamental scripting I guess. Uh, we're going to look at loops right now. This is uh, pretty good. So we got four is one loop. This is four for i equals one. Crap. <laughs> if I for i equals one, put in a space. Ten do print hello mom. <laughs> That's a little immature, but it's better than mom I think. <laughs> Alright, so what this does, actually I should, uh, we'll just look at this one. What this does is it'll uh, print hello noob ten times. Uh, there it is, ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a little more than ten, I think. Weird. That might be just ten, I don't know. So that's an easy one, all it does is print hello world or hello noob ten times. Uh, for I, I don't know why it has to be I. Let's try A. I think that should work too. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> it doesn't have to be I, but there has to be a variable. And uh, a variable, if you don't know, in algebra it's really just a letter representing a number. But in scripting, it can be a letter, a combination of letters, of uppercase and lowercase. It can be a combination of letters, numbers, and uh, these things, which are called underscores. But one thing you have to realize is that you cannot start it with a number. So it cannot be like 1, 8, B, C equals something. That will not work. And uh, it cannot be something that like for or if or do. Anything that you type turns blue, for, if, do. See how it turns blue? If it turns blue and you try to make just that a variable, it's not going to work. You can do if with two f's, but you cannot do just if equals something. It's, that's just, you know. So, A, that's fine. Well, I guess we'll do I because of the example. Uh, so what this does is, uh, what this is going to do is it's going to print I. I guess we'll have a print i. Get rid of the quotes so it actually prints i. And uh, we'll do it for every negative one. Let's see what it does. Running script and it does not do it any time at all because it does. It tries to do it for negative one times and it cannot do that. We could do one to negative ten and it'll probably do it eleven times. Because one. Two, there's two, and there's eleven, so there you go. Alright, that's pretty cool. 
uh, I can do 0.5, I'll get rid of these negatives, and why so it goes 0.5, and I'll print I, so it'll come from 1 from to 1.5 to 2 to 2.5. What that means is that this is basically what it's counting by, and if it's not there, it's going to count by 1s by default. So you can actually do, we'll go to 1 to 2, and a 0.1, so it's going to go from 1 to 1.1, 1.2, all the way up before 2. I don't know why it didn't print 2. I guess that's just how it works. Do 2.1 and see if it prints 2. And it does. Okay, so that's how that works. There's also something called a while, W H I L E. So we can do uh, I equals 1, while I is less than 10, do wait print I less than 10 I equals I plus 1 and print I equals 10 okay That's kind of cool. What that does is uh, it says i equals 1. I'll explain what local and uh, not local is later, which is also known as global. Uh, we got local and uh, we got while. While So it's saying while i is less than uh, 10, and since i is 1, it is less than 10, do this. Uh, wait and print i is... Uh, print i is uh, less than 10. And then i, and then after it prints that, it says i equals i plus 1. So that means that 1 equals 1 plus 1, because that's the variable, and then 2 equals 2 plus 1, that's 3, and then 3 equals 3 plus 1, which is 4, and then it keeps going. And then when it's done, it's going to print i equals 10, because by then i is going to equal 10, because it will not be less than 10. Yeah, it's hard to understand. Just rewind it if you want to listen to it again. I know it's not easy, but I can't keep explaining things because I'll waste time. I've only got 15 minutes to explain everything. So, okay, what else we got here? We've got repeats. I haven't worked with these before. Local uh, i equals one. Repeat. Print i. It's less than 10. i equals i plus 1 plus 1. i plus 1. Until i is equal to 10, print i equals 10. Okay. Whoops. Oh, my bad. And end the parentheses there. <laughs> Prart. Repeat. <laughs> That's funny. What what I do? Oh no, explore. Oh. There it is, okay. <laughs> we'll play that. Oh, I broke it. I didn't put a weight. Those jerks did not put a weight. Oh, I thought about it, and I thought maybe it won't, but it did. Didn't put a weight. Those idiots. Oh. I'm going to close it. This looks like Roblox, but it's not. It's actually just uh, my background. God, that's not cool. That's so not cool. Anyway, that does the same thing as the other thing did. I'll just say that. And we'll have a break. Alright, let's do a new place. Don't need the web browser. 
Okay, so let's do this. We can do a uh, new script. We'll have a while true do. While true do. Print. Hi, noob. Wait. End. Now, what this does is it keeps printing hi, mom. Or hi, noob. And then when you go back, it'll stop. I think it stopped. Yeah, it stopped. Uh, and now we're just going to have it break. So it stops the loop. So it prints it once, and then it's done because it broke. Really, it didn't break necessarily, but it broke the loop is what that means. And then once again, like for this, it's just the same thing except instead of doing it hundred million times it actually is going to uh, break it right away so that's pretty cool alright that's about that for loops and there's variables this is where it gets a little confusing for people yeah I'm gonna have to do part two. Oh well okay well I'm gonna stop here and uh, continue on to part two if you part two if you want to uh, see variables and the more fundamentals of Lua scripting. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and that's it.